Well, well, well. How'd I know it was gonna come to this? Hey, Martha, get in here. The City Slickers are back and they're asking for some more Ranch Simulator. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Ranch Simulator. So, I'm very excited to be back here. You guys have been telling me about this for the past couple of months. Basically, this is a game we played back in 2021 and it's been in early access. So slowly but surely over the weeks and months, it's been getting updates and now it's officially out of early access. The full version 1.0 is here and that's what we're gonna be checking out in this video. A lot's changed since we last played it. We've got all sorts of new livestock. There are all sorts of new features and like there's full on crop farming intending to. There are greenhouses where you can grow all kinds of plants. It's just like, it's apparently a totally different game and you guys have wanted to see it. So I wanted to hop on here, see what we can get into. I'm, we're gonna get really creative. We're just gonna call this the farm. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like a full series. I don't know if it's gonna feel too repetitive. All I know is that we really loved this a couple years ago, so I'm kind of tempted to uh, hop back into it and see what we can do. So uh, we can skip the tutorial. Old house is going to be removed. UTV is going to be in the garage. Small chicken coop with two chickens and an egg basket will be placed on the ranch. Receive the axe blueprint book, cheap saw, and a crowbar. You'll also receive the pistol, some ammo, and $1,100. I say we skip the uh, the tutorial here. I, I do feel like. Um, you know, we, we've got somewhat of a, a hang on this. Oh my goodness, dude. So the, the game's been upgraded to, up, oh, hello. Uh, say it ain't so. Let him, let him, let him pass, Trav. You gotta take the shot though, don't overthink it. It wasn't even reloaded. I tried to take the shot. But yeah, the game's, it, it's been upgraded to, uh, oh. Here we go. It's a doe, but it's, it's fine. This, this could be huge. Oh, we got him, baby. Let's go. That's how we start things off. But yeah, Unreal Engine 5, so it's obviously going to look a lot better. And like I said, a lot has changed. There's another one over there. Okay. One for one on our, our shots. Definitely proud of that. We can skin him, but we're going to need... We can't pick it all up. We're going to need our, our UTV. That's that's going to be the first order of business. Looks like our garage is going to be over here. Feels so good to be back, man. Look at this. We've got like crop plots and stuff. I think we can grow wheat. We can grow corn. We can build a greenhouse and, and grow all sorts of like cabbages and things like that. Like it, this, this is, this is going to be a lot different. It's the story of building the farm up from scratch. I think our, our grandpa gave us this farm and we decided to leave the comforts of society behind. And we're going to see what we can do out here. Looks like our windmill has broken there. That's not good. I think our UTV should be in here. In the tutorial, they make you build the whole thing, but it looks like we're good to go. All right, so I remember we've got our jerry can. This is always going to be important. I'm going to throw this in the back of the UTV. We've got all sorts of junk in here so i'm gonna at least clean up a, a bit of ooh, old tires uh it says it's trash hopefully we aren't gonna need them we're gonna remove all the junk here and then hopefully we'll hopefully be able to fire this thing up let's go pick up our deer meat oh hello but yeah our deer meat a lot oh hello well look at how lucky we are are you kidding me dude he came back to check out on his female Got them both. Okay, we're, we're gonna have plenty of meat. This this is just kind of a gift. We got a, a lot of cash here at the start. Drifting in here. Okay, so we're gonna be able to pick these up and then you can place it in the back. We're gonna be able to take this to market. To be honest, I don't fully remember everything that we can do. I know we're probably gonna wanna build a well. We're gonna wanna get some feed for our chickens. We're gonna need to get some gas. I saw our UTV was almost out of gas. So we definitely don't wanna want to run out there this is can we we can't pick up multiple at a time that's kind of unfortunate all right we're just gonna place these as close as possible i remember we could sometimes stack on top but it looks like they may have fixed that oh my goodness dude this this is fantastic what a way to start life on the farm ain't easy so anything that greases the skids a little bit off the start is good but yeah i don't fully remember like i know we have to buy chicken feed to be able to feed them i don't remember if we have to feed ourselves or what i'm assuming we're gonna go to the the general store off the bat so let's head over here to the southeast oh my goodness there is a traffic jam for this guy here <laughs> dude what in the world is going on okay let me uh i'm i'm I'm, just, I'm gonna get him out of the road for you guys. Thank you very much. This is this is just extra cash for us. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to fit all this meat. We're gonna have to make this really nice and tidy in here. Got the perfect fit, baby. All right, a uh, a truckload of deer meat, and let's go sell this at the general store. Let's get some chicken feed. 
and we are off to the races in our new life out here in the country. Ooh, Williams. Oh no, that's the live, there's a livestock auction? We're gonna be able to go attend this, go to the auction for 50 bucks. Bus services are available every day. I don't think we're ready for that yet, but once we get ourselves situated, that's definitely gonna be great. I think, can't we, if we pull into this, that's our sell area. So we're gonna be able to walk inside. I think we can sell items on this guy. So if we go to sell wild meat times 12, we could sell it for 180 bucks. We'll take it. So that's that's nice there. So we've got uh, we've got chickens and roosters, cows, pigs, goat. There's a bag of wheat. I'm assuming this is what we're gonna feed our chickens. So I'm gonna get a couple of those. Probably gonna want a bucket. Small bucket, steel bucket, wood bucket. I, I don't know which we're going to want. Barrels. Oh, there's there's bee smokers and beehive frames. Look at everything that they've added. Composters. This is crazy. We could buy dairy bulls and cows, beef bulls and cows, pigs, goats. I know there's horses. There's got to be other stuff at the livestock farm too. I'm going to say probably a wooden bucket. We're going to get two uh, bags of wheat and a wooden bucket. We're going to check out. Thanks for your purchase. Thank you, man. Appreciate it make a purchase use a yep all right we got it uh in the conversation thank you so we're gonna grab our our things that we purchased here that's gonna be to transport water to the chickens we're also gonna have a couple bags of food that we're gonna be able to use for them definitely gonna be useful and i think we need to go get some uh some gas so gas station's gonna be up here we can set our objective on it I don't think they had the, the little pinpoint marker before. That's convenient. Dude, this game looks so good. I, I don't know. There's something about this game. It's just so chill. Like, it, there's, it's not really that insane. Like, it's not that special. There's not that much going on. But you just slowly but surely build up over time. And now we've got so many more things we can look forward to. We can be a beef cow breeder, a milk cow breeder, a really kind of whatever we want. So we're, we're going to slowly build a farm empire if you guys are interested this is our gas station and i remember we take the pump we can pick this up and i think it's on the other side yeah we could put it here start fueling i'm just gonna fuel this thing all the way up we're at about full right there nicely done and then i think we can take this out and we could put it in here and start fueling and that's slowly going to fill up our jerry can that's going to run some of our tools and equipment and we can use it for this thing if we run out of gas and things like that. Pick it back up and we can put her back in there. All right, back to the farm. Got to make sure these chickens are fed and we probably would have think about starting to put a roof over our head. I remember hunting bear and stuff in this game. Like it, it, it gets, it gets pretty insane. I wonder, I saw that they've added, they've added a hunting area. So I, I wonder what we're going to be able to find there. Yep, let's maybe pay attention to where we're going here Trev but um yeah I think first things first is let's make sure our chickens are fed it said that they're going to give us a chicken coop and some chickens looks like the chicken coop is right here okay and it looks like didn't they say they were going to give us like a table saw or something like that is that what this is we got Amazon Prime can we place this ah all right so here's our table saw I think we're going to be able to take our jerry can and we're going to be able to Fill this thing up. Ah, okay. We're gonna make sure we don't waste gas there. That's that's not good. So we've got our egg basket, which we're gonna use to collect eggs. We've got a, a hen and a rooster, two hen two hens in here, I believe. So we're not gonna be, you know, procreating, but we are gonna get eggs every day. We do have to feed them. I kind of pick you up. How do I how do I see what you what do you need? Okay, get get back in there. Okay, they need food and water. I forget how to how to manage them with that. I've got it all figured out here. So this is our, our buildable book. This is kind of like our, you know, recipes of things that we can make. There's a lot of stuff that I recognize, but there's also a ton of new stuff. And here on the miscellaneous page, on page two, we've got our small food trough and water bowl, which are suitable for installation in chicken coop. So this is very exciting here. And uh, we're going to see if we can get these things built. So we need six planks each, which means we're going to need this, which means we need to fell our first tree. May he rest in peace. Your sacrifice will be heard around the world in these parts here on this farm. He gave us two logs. That really doesn't give us much. All right. So I'm, I'm going to collect a couple logs here. Obviously our, uh, 
we saw that our, our little saw table takes quite a bit of gas. So we want to make sure we've got plenty of plenty of resources to be able to feed it. We should be we should be good here. So we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna place this on there and look at him go, baby. Nice and slow. I know there's ways we can upgrade this. We can get faster saws. I thought at one point we kind of had like a an automated saw. I remember taking the UTV around and getting a bunch of logs and then kind of all, I don't know, maybe we were still solo placing them. It was just going a lot faster. Holy cow. Yeah, this thing is going to eat through gas. So we're going to want to upgrade this eventually, but we got to start small, baby. And these, these guys are hungry. So we got to make sure that they're taken care of. We're going to grab a couple more logs here while we're waiting on this. Sorry about your treat. Let me grab this. It's kind of nice because this thing is so slow that you have the time to be able to place it and actually go and chop wood and things and then be able to make it back in time to place the next piece. I think it's hilarious that the game's graphics look so much better, but the running animation still looks like he's got a, a stick stuck up his butt. Like, dude dude is a very, a very proper runner, but I guess that's, you know, something we can deal with. So, uh, wood is, you know, kind of the foundation of everything. If we go into our build menu here, we can see a lot of stuff needs wood, concrete, and metal. Like, even if we wanted to upgrade our chicken coop, it's kind of the same idea here so we're gonna make some extra wood i don't want to waste too much time here but it looks like we've got a solid number of wood planks here and now we should be able to build the uh the pieces that we need i'm gonna start with the food trough do we just want to put these outside i kind of i would feel guilty putting them inside the small one i want to give these guys space to roam around so we're we're gonna place this let's actually shut this this off first i kind of i, I think we can we can up open the top and the bottom here we could put them in there i just feel like that's not healthy so i, I think we're going to place these outside let's do a small food trough right here and then we're going to do a small water bowl right next to it we are going to have to build a well and stuff too to be able to get water but we've got that so now i think we're going to be able to grab our bag and we can fill oh we got to build it first duh trev let me pick up six of these and then we can we can place it okay and then we'll pick up another another however many six and we can build the water bowl beautiful so now we're going to be able to take the feed we can put this in our feed bowl we've got seven out of seven feed in there even with this open it looks like they kind of hang in here so that's good news are you guys hungry a little bit hungry a lot a bit thirsty all right i'm i'm gonna leave this open for now i think we can fence them in if we want but i also think they might be okay is this a well that works no this looks like an old abandoned well so we're gonna have to build our own well which means we're gonna have to get concrete which i think means we're gonna have to go to the hardware store so i'm going to place these here i really hope these guys will, will go outside of their thing come come eat just sit i'm gonna i'm gonna put them there please come please come eat please I'm begging you. All right, I'm going to leave. You guys stay put. You guys don't go anywhere. We, we need to go to the hardware store. We might as well. Let's grab the jerry can. Let's fill this table back up. And then we're going to take the jerry can with us. Again, you guys you guys stay put, all right? I'll, I'll be back soon. Don't worry about it. I feel like I'm leaving my, my you know, teenagers for the first time or something. All right. So we want to go to hardware store. Really hope I'm doing this right. It's It's been a hot minute since we played this game. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm hoping we can rise our way up the ranks quickly. And we're going to have a self-sufficient farm in no time. So this is where we're going to get our building supplies. We need to check our thing. We need to build that well. That was on page one. Well, need six planks and 20 concrete. So let's go in here. I think they're about to close for the day. Can we buy concrete? Concrete bag. There's a $25 bag and a $250 bag. I'm gonna buy the big boy. We can buy a luxury table saw. I mean, we don't have a ton of money, but we do have some money. Ax, crowbar, we already have those. Pans, is there anything else we think we're gonna need off the bat? Compact cooker. I think we might be okay for right now. Look at this. We can get grain headers, fertilizers, cedars, cultivators. Bro, this is a full-on farm sim now. Speaking of which, I do want to hop into farm simulator at some point, but all right, so we're we're gonna we're gonna check out with this. Looks like this is our bag of concrete. We could pick this. Oh my goodness, dude. This this would be a very expensive or very heavy piece of equipment here. We're gonna throw this in the back of our gator. Can we go 
to the gas station. I'm just gonna go straight back to the ranch. I'm a little bit nervous about our chicken situation. Although it is raining, is, is the, the water trough gonna collect rainwater? That would be nice. Oh my goodness, man. First day out here on the job and they couldn't even give us some sunshine. We truly got our work set out for us out in these parts, but it's gonna be all right. I welcome the challenge. It's better than being stuck in a nine to five. Looks like our chickens are still, dude, that is so sick how you, you drift in there. Our chickens are inside. I feel like sometimes, okay, they have not eaten or drank yet. I'm a little nervous about this. Our water is not filling. I'm gonna save just in case we messed up. We do need to get a house because right now we are using a tent to sleep in and in conditions like this, I don't think that's very well advised. I'm worried we maybe had to put the troughs inside the chicken coop. I just felt really bad about that. Somebody, you missed. How, how did you miss? You, you got one out here. I'll pick that up though. Is there any other ones outside? Do we, oh. I feel like I'm on an Easter egg hunt. There's another one right there. Okay, at some point we we probably want to fence these guys in. So we've got our concrete here. Do we have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six, perfect. So we can go into build. We're gonna select our well. I guess let's just put the well here for now and we're gonna use all these resources that we have. So let's pick these up, insert those. 50 kilograms of concrete. Is that gonna take 20? Is this 30 now? 30 out of 50. All right, so we've got a well. Now we're gonna take, didn't we get, I thought we got a wooden bucket. It's right there. We could place our bucket. I remember doing this. We have to crank this back. We're gonna get some water from the bucket and we can use that water to fill this thing. Now the question is whether or not they're gonna actually use the water and everything that's available, which is what I'm worried about we should have put inside. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's go. All right. I wasn't sure if he was just stuck on it or if he was using it. Okay. So, I mean, it, it looks like we might be able to just let our chickens roam free. We want to keep an eye on these, but they, they did both drink. Hopefully they'll eat as well. And that is pretty sick. One thing I did notice, I kind of wanted to point out to you guys is I, I don't remember this from the main game. I was looking at the, um, the windmill. Look at this. With 150 metal, we get a wind turbine for extraction of water from an underground resource. Fills all the bowls in the area. There's also, I believe there's a drill rig we can drill for oil. There's a honey extractor. Like this, this is kind of insane. Log rack can contain logs or planks. This is pretty ridiculous. Our chickens still have not eaten, but they did drink, so that's good news. We're gonna let them have free reign for right now. And I think our next step is gonna be to set up our home. You know, obviously every farmer needs a place to kick off his boots at the end of the day and sleep, because he worked so hard the whole day. Looks like this was an old barn. We're probably gonna end up tearing that down. I'm gonna take the well out over here since that's not working for us. This is so cool, dude. I just, I love starting from scratch and working our way up. So we want to go into build. We're going to want to go to our house options. Farmhouse PH2, two-story house with two rooms. We need 23 wood planks, 80 concrete, and 15 metal to be able to build this bad boy. I'm thinking that is probably the best bet for us off the rip. Um, where do we want to put it is the question. Maybe like right, right here. That's a, a pretty good spot for it. All right. So I guess that means we really have to, to get to work. Are you eating? He's not eating yet, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to leave that tree there because I kind of like it next to our house. Let's start logging over here so we don't take down resources that actually look pretty. And we're going to get to work to, you know, collecting wood and hopefully eventually building a house. I don't even know if we have enough money to be able to, to get this done. Honestly, might not have been a bad idea to upgrade to the, the, the big boy cutting table. For 750 bucks if we're gonna have to chop this much wood but at the same time i'm also a little bit nervous about being able to afford enough concrete and metal i don't remember what the the big money makers were we're gonna have to experiment with it i remember eggs being pretty good i also remember at one point we were like making cheese and stuff like this it, it gets so deep it's pretty good. And I feel like, you know, I'm going to have to go back and watch some of the old videos. I feel like we're going to have to progress fairly quickly. I kind of want to get to the new stuff. But at the same time, it's been, you know, two and a half years or I guess two two years, a little over two years. So a lot of it's probably new to you guys, too. Oh, my goodness, dude. Look at this sunset we're getting 
on the first day of our brand new life. Just gotta make sure we're careful not to end up running out of gas or anything like that. We do have a decent amount of money to start off. Oh god, it's, it's getting really, really dark. There are bears in this game. I don't remember if they attack you or not. I think they do. I'm not sure. But we're, we're gonna... Wow, it's, it's a little bit intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. I think we're just gonna chop some wood and uh, I'll probably see you guys in the morning for when we build our house. Bears would be scared of, of this thing, right? I kind of feel like... You know, they, I don't. I don't think they would love the the loud noises and stuff. So we're we're just gonna we're gonna camp out right here. Can I? Isn't there a switch lights to on? If we, ah, beautiful. I don't know if we have battery or anything, but that's gonna allow us to work at night. Did I love little things like that? That like, when you think of something and the game actually lets you do it, that's pretty cool. We should back it up though, so we get a little bit more space. Although to be honest, if we're trying to be spooky and and scare ourselves a little bit, this. This is probably the worst thing you can do because when you turn the lights on, things that are out in the dark can see you and you can't see them. With that, I'm going to leave you guys because the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. Okay, let's, let's see in the morning. Okay, I have no idea how to advance time. I'm so kind of like a little bit freaked. I, I, I don't think there's anything big and spooky out there, but I... I have no idea how to fast forward time. So do I just stand here in the headlights? Do we go save? Oh goodness. All right. We're, we're just, we're going to, we're going to turn the lights off here and we're going to run. Oh, it's way better with the lights off. Actually, it looks way less dark. We're going to run over to our tent. Is there a way to skip to morning? I have no idea. So oh, hold E to sleep. Yep. There it is. All right. We're sleeping away the evening. We're gonna wake up in the morning time. Look at that mustache, baby. All right, day number two. Technically day number one, I guess. Started on day zero. We got the sun coming up over the mountains up there and uh, we're gonna see if we can build us a house today. So we're going to pick up as many pieces of wood as we can. And then we're gonna insert these in here. Interesting, so you have to do things in order. You can't just randomly willy nilly place them all over the place and it's, it's gonna create boundaries that we can't cross. Let's pick all these up. Just gonna run around and, and try to place as many things as we can here. Looks like you can place anything you want as long as it's connecting to something. I don't even think we needed the two-story house. I think you might be able to just straight up uh, build your own thing, I, like a Minecraft style, like just build a box. I'm, I'm not sure though. So we're, we're just gonna build the, the lowest one that we for sure know about and we're gonna be okay. Stairs, we're 21 out of 23 on wood. I don't know where else we would place wood though because I think we're gonna have to make the foundation with concrete. So let's pick this up. And is this, ooh. We have 30 out of 80 concrete. We need 50 more just for the foundation, which means we're going to the store. How we look at on gas here? Gas is still pretty good. So we're, we're hanging in there. Let's go back to the hardware store. Should have thought about this yesterday, but we could take another trip into town, not a big deal. We need 50 concrete and 15 metal. I certainly hope we can afford it. Physics are, are kind of a little <laughs> funny in this game. Whee! Okay, Trev, let's maybe not get this thing stuck. Oh, okay, um, <clears throat> okay, yep, we're... Uh, all right, we're, we're gonna be... Uh, fine, you know, the, the driving is a little bit weird. Uh, it's back. Okay. Uh, that's nope. That's not what we want. We we want to we want to flip this thing. Maybe get it out. Oh, yep. Oh, we might. We might have messed up here. Um, that works. Okay. Another 50 pound bag of concrete's going to cost us 250 and then we need metal plates. It's a hundred for 10 50 for 500. I guess we could just grab a couple hundred here. So for 450 bucks, we are going to build a house today. Kind of feel like maybe we should buy extra. I feel like eventually, I mean, we're always going to want concrete and stuff. Again, I don't, I don't want to price us out. Let's see if we can even stack these things here. Like if we have extra money, we're already here. We know eventually we're going to use more concrete to build the, you know, windmill and whatever else. But we also want to make sure we have cash reserves until then. Oh shoot. We might be, oh no. We, I, I certainly hope that we can place this here and this can go over here. Otherwise we might be in trouble. There we go. Does this fit? Oh, 
Yes, beautiful. Okay, good thing we didn't buy any more. We're back in business, baby. Look at all the wildlife around here. I love it. That's the kind of life I wanted to live outside of the concrete jungle. So we're going to bring this back here, and we are going to be able to build our first house, which is very exciting. So we've got all the concrete we need, and then we've got the metal that we need. The metal goes into the foundation. Got the metal there. That's what I'm talking about. We could put our extras over here, and I think there's one more piece of wood that we need somewhere I'm not sure oh it's right there that's it if we get out of here and look at that just like that we, we built the bare bones and we had somebody else come in and, and fix the rest of it for us so now we have an actual home we've got a radio I don't think the music is working. I've been trying to play music. I, I have it set on in the settings, but it's it's not working. So we've got a radio. We've got a little oven and kitchen. I know eventually we're going to be able to get that thing cooking. We can go upstairs. This is the exact house that we had before. We have a bed we can sleep in that's over here next to our chickens and such. But um, at least it's a place to lie our head at the end of the day. And uh, obviously we're going to be able to improve things with time. So we're going to pick up some some poo here. Let's get these, and then I think if we pick this up, we should... Do we have any eggs in there? Thought I saw an egg. Maybe not. I don't think they've laid any eggs yet. But, um, yeah, things things are going. We're kind of starting a life for ourselves here. We're a little bit behind, not gonna lie, compared to where we were. But I think that's a, a good spot to stop this first episode. I can't wait to fix that. It's gonna look so sick. We have this all set up, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want more of this game. Again, it's, it's kind of weird, because like... We were way farther than this, but the game is way bigger than where we were, and I don't have my save file, so we couldn't really continue from where we were, so we kind of have to rebuild from the start, so like, it's weird. If you guys want it, I think it's something where we're probably going to progress a lot each episode, like I'm going to play a lot and cut it down, and, and really, you know, we're going to be the king of the chickens, and then start working towards other livestock, and, and you know, each episode is going to be kind of tailored to, to move fairly quickly, just so it doesn't get too boring, but um, at the same time, honestly, this all feels still relatively new to me so kind of hoping it does for you guys as well these guys are barely going through anything i'm so proud of you guys keep it up so yeah this is the start of our new life here in farm sim if you guys want more from this be sure to let me know drop a like leave comments down below is it snowing what in the world i don't think i've ever seen snow in this game are, are the chickens gonna be okay i don't know let me know if you guys want more thanks for watching catch you all later peace out